and no teacher as there's no longer a theater program at Antioch High School. The music program in the 1990s could field a marching band larger than the two football teams on the field, over 130 kids, but now they struggle to just have 30 kids in the marching band. The dance program continues, luckily doubling as physical education, a graduation requirement. Finally, the visual arts program has gone from four teachers to two, and half the art rooms are now conference centers for staff. These losses are heartbreaking, especially because there are new findings in brain research and cognitive development that say using the arts as a learning tool, for example, musical notes to teach fractions, and incorporating arts into core classes, such as writing and performing a play on slavery, or creating a school environment rich in the arts, with maybe Mozart playing in the hallway every day, is associated with gains in math, reading, cognitive ability, critical thinking, and verbal skills. I know we're all concerned about equity and diversity, and a strong arts program helps close the gap that has left many a child behind. Eric Cooper, president and founder of the National Urban Alliance for Effective Education, says art education enables those children from a financially challenged background to have a more level playing field with children who've had those enrichment experiences. I recently interviewed a few of my ex-students, all who attended comprehensive high schools, and went on to attend colleges specifically for the performing arts. One student, Megan, is currently a freshman at the American Musical and Dramatic Academy in New York City. Over half her freshman class trained at performing arts high schools, most on the East Coast and many at private high schools. While Megan is in the basic dance and acting courses, these other students are already, as freshmen, in advanced courses. In Megan's words, they, are already, they already have an advantage over me to a point where I work three times harder and only get four hours of sleep a night because I'm trying desperately to catch up. A lifelong resident of Antioch, she and her parents would have fought hard to have her attend a school like Contra Costa School of Performing Arts if it had existed. This new school is a great opportunity that can only enhance the scholastic possibilities for students in this county. Thank you for your time, and I hope you support the Contra Costa School of Performing Arts. Point of information, uh, how many more uh, presenters do we have? Okay, I'm moving this time we recess for five to ten minutes.